Welcome, travelers. Welcome to tax season. The moment everyone has been waiting for. And on that note, I will be talking about something that the deadline has just passed, so I should have done this earlier, but hey, now you're ready for next year. RRSPs. Before I get into that, this is for Canadians. And I will not get into specific numbers. If I use numbers, they're going to be generic examples that are not accurate. If you want to know for your province and if you want to know like specifically, CRA, the Canada Revenue Agency website, has all that information. There's no point in me saying it here because it changes from year to year. In fact, when I studied finance four years ago, five years ago, and now revisiting it now, a lot of the numbers have changed. So, what is an RRSP? I'm going to answer three questions in this video and I'm going to give you a brief overview. I'm not going to get very specific. And as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just making you understand how it works, okay? So, three questions. What is an RRSP? How does it work? And why would you need it? What is an RRSP? RRSP stands for Registered Retirement Savings Plan. It was the government of Canada's way to incentivize people to start saving for their retirement on their own. Why? CPP and OAS, Canada Pension Plan and Old Age Security, which are the government provided versions based on uh, how much you work and how much you, uh, how long you've lived in Canada, are, were never meant to be the end goal of your retirement. Those are supplementary. It's the equivalent of being on like, let's say like being on welfare. Uh, maybe a little bit not as bad, but it's supposed to be minimal, that's the point. In fact, the more you earn, they actually take it back based on your earnings too. Uh, it's all essentially government assistance in, in nicer words. Why, why did they do that? Well, uh, first of all, companies, not every company offers a pension plan. And uh, people that don't have that option need a way to save their money. And it provides incentive, why? Two reasons, and that's in how it works. Also, why? Probably because they can't afford to give people, pay. the government can't afford to give everybody like proper pension. So, how does it work? The main benefits of an RRSP are two things, but before that, let me explain something. An RRSP itself is not an investment. It's not something you buy. You don't say, I wanna buy an RRSP. That is like saying, um, I don't know, I don't know an analogy, you don't buy an RRSP, you buy things, investments that go into an RRSP. An RRSP, I like to say, is an umbrella or a shelter. It's registered to your name and your SIN number, your social insurance number, okay? so. Just because you have something at this bank or that bank, they're not separate, it's, it's you, it's your identity, right? You buy mutual funds, stocks, bonds, etc., and you can register them into an RRSP. I will not say what you need to do or how to do it, um, or what you should do in an RRSP, that's entirely up to you and your needs and your goals. All I'm saying is that RRSP itself is not the investment, it is the umbrella that, that covers the investment from the reign of taxes. Well, what does that mean? First of all, the easier thing to explain is anything under an RSP grows tax-free. While it's under there, it grows tax-free. Until said point at the end when you retire, ideally, when you start taking it out, that's when you pay, pay the taxes. Oh my God, why, why, why would I do that? I have to pay taxes at the end. Well, first of all, Anything, if, if it's not registered, any investment that grows in taxes is taxable if it's not registered. Growing investments are taxable. Mutual funds, for example, pay things like dividends and redistributions. You get taxed even though you don't sell the mutual fund. For example, stocks. When you buy and sell stocks, capital gains. You get taxed on that. Doing those things under an RSP is tax-free. Number one. Number two, the biggest thing that people seem to not understand the biggest thing is most people, their higher income earning years, let me backtrack actually. In Canada, we operate under the marginal tax rate, meaning 
as you earn more, every additional dollar you pay more taxes on that. So first threshold you pay no taxes, next threshold you pay X amount of taxes on that, and so on as you climb the ladder of, of income. The higher you earn, the more you earn, the more taxes you pay. That's simply, that's just how it works. Okay, and they get upwards to 50, almost 50% of your income. Basically, you're working for six months for free. For free, right? So, the incentive is, let me put this money in an RRSP, and there's a cap every year. I'm not going to get into all the nitty-gritty details. There is a maximum contribution every year based on your income. Anyway, the incentive is, I'm paying the highest tax bracket, not me, but example. I'm paying 50% in taxes. I put my money into an RRSP, I contribute to an RRSP now. Now, that, the government sees you as lowering your income that year because you're putting money away that you're not, you're not able to use. So they refund you the taxes that you paid on that income because in Canada, taxes are withheld on when you get paid. You, don't, you get paid after tax. So the way it works, in, in to dumb it down a little bit, is, hey, here's the money back. Put it in my RRSP and give me the taxes back that I paid on it. So what you did was you effectively lowered your income this year. Your money that you had now is sitting in an investment in an RRSP. So it's still your money. It's in an RRSP. You lowered your income. You got your taxes back uh, that you paid. So you got money back. Later in your life, when you retire, theoretically, you're not making as much money as when you're in your 40s, 50s, and your highest income earning years. When you retire, your income is lower. So ideally, this is what happens to the taxes you're paying. Let me lower it here, and maybe I'll pay a little bit more here, but I'm not paying 50% over here. Also, on another note, that money you get back in these years, these earlier years, you need that more theoretically because you have kids, mortgage, bills, blah, blah, blah. When you're older and retiring, your kids should be gone. Not gone, they should be independent. And your mortgage should be paid, blah, 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 blah. So the cash flow issue is, is, is easier to manage here. So what, what does, that's what it does, okay? So it's a, it's a registered vehicle, it's a shelter, grows tax-free, lowers your taxes when you contribute, you pay taxes later on in your life when you take it out, okay? People seem to hate RSPs because of you pay taxes when you take it out. Tax-free growth is a big deal. Factor in the years, from year X to year Y, if it's 20 years, that's all tax-free growth. What you're gonna pay in taxes at the end is probably nominal. In, in like relative to the growth and all that. And you're getting your money back now. Money now. A dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. Always. So, why do you need it? Why do you need it? Here are some reasons. One, the need is high income now, low income later. That's the biggest need for it. Number two, uh, if you don't have a company pension, uh, it's highly recommended you do something like this because from those X amount of years, if you don't have like a huge sum of money when you retire or you don't have any assets to retire on, you're going to be screwed. Uh, some fun reasons is you get a nice chunk of money right away depending on how much you contribute now. If you're in a high tax bracket and you contribute like Let's say you pay 50% in taxes, theoretically. You contribute $10,000 to your RSP, you're going to get like $5,000, boom, here. Here's $5,000 back because you pay taxes on this money and now you're contributing it to your RSP, so we're going to lower that for you. Done. 5000 cash in, in a lump sum is a lot of money, regardless of how much you make. That's a more fun read. This is a vacation for you or something. I don't know. Uh, why else do you need it? There's other strategies, more complicated, not going to get into it. Uh, the point is this. Don't pay more taxes than you need to pay. We are in a system that we're self-regulated. The government of Canada gives us all kinds of tax credits, all kinds of tax deductions, all kinds of things. But if you don't know what you don't know, 
and I'm showing one example of how to benefit from the things that are offered to us. Okay? On that note, that is just a brief overview. I know it's 10 minutes long, but I can't make it any shorter than that. Uh, it's a lot, there's a lot more details to it, but that's the gist. That's why you would need one. That's what it does and that's what it is. Okay? Uh, I'll probably get into some comparing and strategies and all that in another video, but for now, please like, please comment, and please subscribe. That is our RSPs, Registered Retirement Savings Plans. Let's keep growing together, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.